Good morning. Hello. My name is Raymond Reddington. Am I Elizabeth Keene then? <laughs> well, that'd be a little weird. Or maybe I'm the mother. What was the name? That uh, Katerina. Been seen. Katerina. 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 And you think Raymond Reddington now is actually Katerina? No, I think Katerina is now Raymond Reddington. Well, yeah. however, however, unless he had a twin brother, which is me. Good morning. Oh, yes. My name is Raymond Reddington. Carolyn. Hello, Caroline. All right. It's going to be a lovely day, everybody. Joe, Joe with an E. Welcome. I am Raymond Reddington. Stella Jim. Do -do 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 -do. Stella Jim. Caroline. What a <laughs> lovely day. Today we are going to answer your questions live, Vicky Flugger. Uh, this is show number, anybody Hello, know? Patty from Texas. 582. Vortex. Vortex. Texas. Is so much eight fun. Two. That is that 582. Show Yasmin Maxwell Yummy is yes. here. All right. I may begin. Thank you, Joe. Oh, right. So, all right. <laughs> you may begin. That's right. You know, Joe's like a white Dembe. Yeah. yeah. So you can be my Dembe. This is great. Dave, yeah. love your email. We'll be writing back to you. So very, very, very cool. I don't think I wrote back yet. I did read it to Victoria, though. Yes, you did. Lizelle. 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 582. 582. Patty. That is right. That's Doreen has joined Hello, this Doreen. show. It's a superhero day here. That's right. It's Captain Underpants superhero. Day in the Maxwell household. Captain Underpants. Yep. It's Captain <laughs> Commando here, if you know what I mean. Gaza Gaza. <laughs> that Hello. is the rightness. All right. Doobie Doobie. Oh, you're, you're tuning in from the Vegas. God, yeah, so on the, on the Strip, Old Vegas. Who's that, Patty? So, yep. No, no, no. That's Vicky. So if you go to the Strip, right, Old Vegas, right, and you know where all that LG light shit is, go the opposite direction, and there's a little cigar shop hidden away in a corner down there. There used to be. Or, well, there used to be. That was like 10 yeah. years ago. God, yes. they had some good smokes. I used to love lighting up down there, sitting, watching the mechanical man. <laughs> yeah, the cops came and arrested, ran him off one night. <laughs> and, and, he, and, he, and the cop says something to him. He goes, zzz, zzz, and the cop says, glasses off. Hello, Priya. <laughs> it was great fun. And I think you said hello to Leslie. That's right. Anyway, Vegas was By good fun. By the what? Stratosphere. By the stratosphere. All right, cool. Is that right? By the stratosphere. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, well, not where I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> So, All right, so Priya yes. is here. Tap a viewer to add them to the podcast. This is going to be just great fun. We can just start <laughs> rapidly so banging it's on buttons. Episode five, the actually. cigar shop. Go to Oh yeah, I'm sure com. there's one there. Absolutely in the stratosphere. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah, I'm talking a place where they they sold these lovely little locally made, probably illegal, just oh, they were gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, they were I remember like, actually going to what was that place in North Florida? That little like oh. seaside resort. Uh, uh, I don't we, know. Oh, we went to the uh, market, and then we watched them rolling them, making. Cigars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was in Tarpon Springs. Tarpon Springs. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, a lot of Greeks there. Greek food. Yes. Malaka. Yes. We all right, all of our Greek food. friends. And they Malaka. Had eucalyptus. Malaka. Malaka. So that was like the Greek Australian type. Yeah. Thing. Yep. Absolutely. The guys from the eucalyptus oil. Yes. Malaka. And yeah, Alicia. Right. Oh. Alrighty. All right. I love saying words from other languages. They've been uh, replaced by marijuana shops now. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, you know what's amazing? They're out long the smoking of tobacco and legalizing weed. It's like, yeah, yeah I don't get what's it. What's going on? I, so, <laughs> I know. I, I, God, this, this is a lovely world. So, visit us at freenevil.com, Victoria. Yes. yes. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. Well, somebody if got put vinegar in his water too. Yeah, and for refunds, go to fillitrealfun.com. Alrighty. So, for our first question. Cool. Uh, we have the yes. amazing Pulla Patty. The amazing Pulla Patty asked, just curious, how do you catch your imagination in action? And how do you stop it when it's on a bad track? The number one thing that, that I buy into is this. Uh, your body is your barometer. It's the gas gauge. It's the part of the universe that you are the closest to. Uh, or let's say have the most awareness of, right? So let's say you've got this non-localized experience of you and this localized experience of you. I tell you, when someone tells me, I, yeah, you know what, I feel calm inside. I've been meditating, uh, feeling calm. And I see their hand is in this position. <laughs> right? Or their faces like this. Yeah, I'm drawn down, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so the more aware you are of your body, the more, yes. yeah, the more I find that because when you go to buy peanut butter, it's not about... Now, here's how you do this wrong. Ready? I'm imagining I've got enough money to buy the peanut butter I want. Yep, I'm looking at the peanut butter. 
peanut butter. <laughs> Looking at it, okay, I'll look at the peanut butter at the bottom shelf because that's always the cheapest. Right, the shit they want you to buy is at eye level, right? So you look down there and you go, oh, generic. <laughs> from 1974, right? <laughs> you get it? If you're in touch with your body, you notice when you walk up to peanut butter, you're holding your breath. Yeah, right? that bro breathing and bracing. The yes yeah, method. Yeah, that was <laughs> really good. Cool. If you're on the yeah. 221 email list, you got a special article today, and at the top of it, there was a link actually to the yes method. Huh. Ironically, oddly enough. That's amazing. But breathing or bracing, that is a yeah. huge one. There's a reason why I, we put that recording in there, because so many people are saying, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. That's, a, that's called a no. Mm. Meanwhile. Hey. Hello, Laurel and JT. <laughs> JT, okay. welcome. All right. So that so, was from Patty. Hopefully yep. that's good, Patty. And Patty asked a second question oh, or a second two. way. Oh, good Lord. She just keeps typing. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> is there a shortcut you use to turn your imaginings around? Yep. My, uh, my answer on the page was scotch, but that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, a lot of people do that. That's why I mention that in humor, because it's like, you know what? I'm just going to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting along, right? <laughs> Well, I don't, well, actually, I'm imagining her rejecting me, right? Mm. And so, like, for me to reach up the courage to say, hey, would you like to go back to my place and have a good time? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to drink heavily, right? Yeah. <laughs> and after about 40 of those, <laughs> I, I walk up to her and I say, blah, 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 blah. and when she says, what? <laughs> then I get to go, yep, that's how the women's are. <laughs> Nothing but gold diggers. All they want is free drinks. And yeah, it's like, well, yeah, would you go back? <laughs> no, right? So get it? So it's not scotch. Mm -hmm. But when you catch yourself, when you catch that breathing versus bracing on, you get to notice, what am I imagining? And don't imagine the opposite. Imagine something tangential. 90 degree angle. Yeah, we've talked about that as oh well. Oh, my God. That yeah. was in the aha moments calls. We explored that really, really cool. Yeah commercial yeah because we can only do so much on a show and when you had six hours of recordings 15 minute show right but here's the cool thing right yeah. so if you're imagining something tangential tangential so I meet the girl right <laughs> so I gotta have some liquid courage right a couple things I can imagine differently so so I could imagine right mm -hmm. we had a good time Right? Right? <laughs> I Could don't be, think so right? when you're like that. So, yeah. so, so but here's the thing, right? Yeah. So a lot of people are doing that. And so the guy's imagining having a good time. Yeah. And the girl's going, oh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. But if I'm just imagining, you know what? If I'm just imagining enjoying a coffee with her, mm. right? Maybe we had a good time, maybe we didn't, but it implies something. We're not in the bar. Yeah, I was going to say, they're probably right? you're not having the coffee in the bar, so yeah. there's so, another date. Right, so, 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 so yeah. here's the thing. And again, maybe she's imagining, I wouldn't mind seeing this guy again. If but he's if, sober. Yeah, if he's sober. <laughs> yes. Right? By the way, yes. there is only one imagining. There's only one I am imagining at all, right? Now, yeah. here's the cool thing. It's never me versus her or her versus me. Because if I'm imagining, let's face it, I'm a guy. You know what guys like? Meanwhile, mm -hmm. if she's imagining you know what, I wouldn't mind seeing him again. She's imagining that, I'm imagining what I'm imagining. And if that coffee thing shows up, it sort of takes care of both. Yeah, that, that's cool actually, because um, like in the aha moments, how we looked at either, it was like almost when you're in war, it can only be, yes, she'll say, I'll have a drink and go back. <laughs> yeah, and be, we'll go, we'll go to the bed buddy tonight. Yo, bed or, buddy. No, piss off. Or like we said, the aha moments it's like that 90 degree well hang on a minute she might say maybe if you're sober I you know yeah, yeah, maybe if you're slobber right <laughs> maybe if you're slobber <laughs> we can have a cup of coffee right? <laughs> maybe if you're yeah. slobber right? got it <laughs> right yeah. all right so how's that yeah boom perfect all right all right so that was Patty Priya mm -hmm. I want to have fun dates and be spoiled on those dates this is not a riddle. I just want to... Ex oh, a middle. <laughs> Sorry, a <laughs> riddle. not a riddle. <laughs> riddle me this, riddle me that. that was I just want to experience dating and have a good time. I imagined having had a good time, but nothing happened yet. Cool. Keep oh, imagining. Sorry. We, we imagine having puppies long before we got puppies. I think we, we, yeah, we definitely... We imagined having puppies long we, before we had Gasman. Mm. Yeah, true. So, yeah, I get the being spoiled. Um, so if being it's spoiled. not a middle, I'm just thinking if it's not a middle, then can we just imagine having fun? Absolutely. Just going out and on yeah. like dates, but with girls, guys, old yeah. people, young people, just well, it's all fun. So, so what if we went on a date, hmm. right? And, and, and she's just imagining dating. 
Mm. And I happen to know she likes something called a cherry ripe. Mm. Right? Doobie doobie doo. Yes. Or white lilies. Mm -hmm. And she wakes up the morning after a lovely date and there's a cherry ripe and some white lilies on her table. Right? Because what did I show up with? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Chalky and flowers, right? <laughs> You, yeah. you get it? Yeah. yeah. You, what would imply that you, you went on the date, that you had a good time? By the way, if, if you went on the date and didn't have a good time, the chalky and the flowers would end up in the rubbish. Yeah. Guys! Okay. Let me just go see. Yep. What's happening? We'll round them up. Alrighty. Dooby dooby doo. Alrighty. So, how was that, Priya? Let us know. Victoria's out getting Bruce. Meanwhile, in Emmett, they're, they're out there barking at something. We're trying to train him not to do that, so when he does, we bring him back. All right, by the way, just like the imagination, always be pruning the vine. And you'll find the more you do it, the easier it gets. And it's not a war against the vine. It's, it's the creative act of directing where you want it to go. All righty, Jaren says, is it the feeling it's done or the knowing it's done in imagination? Boy, this is a fascinating one to me. Because, hi guys, welcome to the show. So. We can think about our desires, puppies, or we could imagine what, we, if we're thinking of our desire, puppies, what kind of puppies do we want? I don't know, good ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right? Yes. Ones without psychological damage. Yeah. <laughs> Angus, what well, are you doing? Oh, I don't know the way we did that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, go. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the fur ranch. Or, if we're, if we're thinking from our desire, you'll know yeah. if you've moved if you're thinking from the desire. Because yeah. we looked at the fence and it's like, what do we do with the fence? Maintain it. Right? Because if we don't have a fence, there's this road up there thing, right? You can't yeah. have puppies in road next to each other without a fence. Yeah. Uh, and when we're designing things, it's like, well, maybe we want to do this a little differently for safety issues. Mm. And this is before puppies. Mm. But we're still thinking from the state of puppy owner. Yes. One more. Uh, that knowing. So when I went to buy the BMW mm. and I had a pocket full of cash and Victoria's going, <laughs> 20, you're <laughs> being like loud and gregarious. It's like, yeah, I know. It's yeah. fun, right, for once. Yeah. So, so we're going to buy the car. We do the test drive around the car lot. <laughs> beep, beep. It's fun. And I get out and, and the guy's like, what do you think of the BMW? And I say, well, Tom, <laughs> <laughs> me likey car, but me no likey tires. And he goes, well, the tires pass the safety check. <laughs> it's like, all right, tell me about this safety check. And he goes, well, we have to do an RACV safety check thing. And before you can buy the car, it has to pass this and that and all these things. So the tires are good enough. And I said, all right, I'll take the car. But in my head, already being a BMW owner, already owning that BMW, those tires are never on my car. Right? They were shit tires. And so we go in and we sit down and does the computer thing we've talked about this before so he's yeah. <laughs> so he turns and he says so when would you like your new uh. car and I said I'd like it now you've got car I've got cash right done I'd like to go home now right yes. uh, and he says well there's a problem I says oh this should be good because the problem is that the car hasn't been Actually safety been checked. checked yes really yeah. oh. even though you said so it even though you said it was he goes yeah yeah you guys know what happened <laughs> Yeah, like we put it up on this day, you called a couple hours later, you came in, and we didn't have time to do the check. He goes, that never happens. And I said, yes, it does. <laughs> in my world. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, I'll, yes. let me give you some money, and I want the car by yeah. Friday. And we got the car, right? But, but I was already in the state of owning that car, because, and remember, from the state of BMW owner, I don't have shit tires on my car, right? So I'm going to take it probably at service next week or so, and I'll tell David, yeah, check the brakes, check the tires, you know, you can go on anyway. But because I like having good brakes, I like having good tires, I like when the car goes and stops, and I like when I can go, and it goes where I want it to, not, uh, and have it go straight, Yeah. right? My car. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, one thing... So we got a lot of love. Because I on. left and came back. That's one right. One thing I was thinking, I noticed Priya a while ago said, um, okay, just just make it all about having fun yep. which is ace another element to your post was you want to be spoiled and I noticed mm. on um, a few there's been a few posts on the group Patty put one up about yeah. being treated like royalty but a few people are like yeah I can't want to be treated like royalty yep. and, and that to me just would be general, being spoiled sure. do you know what I mean so, and so yeah playing that for fun and yep. having fun and getting yeah being the being spoiled out of it um I reckon that that would work too. 
when you bring it home, mm -hmm. there's so many ways to do this. This is what's fascinating and fun for me, because when you bring it home and you, and, and you get, uh, do, do you get that? Like when I go shopping, 99.9% .9 of the time I have a great time, and so do they. Yeah. Because of where I live from. Right? I also get amazing deals. Right? I went and I bought 20 bucks worth of sausages the other week. Yeah. And I bet they gave me 30 bucks worth. Yeah. Why? Because I'm the guy that gets great deals. I don't even ask for them. And I'm like, look, you do the math, figure it out. I want 20 bucks worth. I want these three different kinds of sausages. They're all different prices. You do the math. <laughs> and he's like, yep, 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 yeah, yep. Yeah, a couple more, yep. <laughs> all right, that's a lot. Yep, you got, a, you got extra. Bang. Yep. Right? Yeah. And that was good because we got we got to feed the apprentice who showed up with two sausages. Right, apprentice. <laughs> two sausages, my butt. And then he ate four of mine. But they were free, so I don't know. Hmm. Alright, so. Cool. Okay, so hang on half a Doobie, second. doobie, doobie. That do. is here. That's yes, it, it for there. So any I, other questions, yes, any other comments? Because ages we ago. will not be going to the dog park till later today. Yeah, ages ago, hmm. someone asked, said they're, they're having back. trouble with sets, they can to sleep. Yep. That's a common one. Yeah. We've got a lot of videos on that. Go ahead and uh, go to fillitrealfun.com and type in or look for the State of Kind of Sleep playlist. Excuse me. Playlist? Yeah, we've got Is a whole playlist. Like music that we play in the background while we do it. Oh, you uh, could. I'm joking. Mm. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yasmin says, love the Corinthian. Actually, it's the Corinthian, singular. The other one is the Calabrasian. And yes. the uh, whatever the hell the other one is, I don't remember. Okay. And then there's the Irish ones. They're lovely. The Irish girl's not there anymore. She was amazing. Like, should you stand out front and give sausages out? It was just anyway. Okay. So, what was the question? Oh yeah, stay to kind of sleep. Yeah. Everybody does, right? Everybody has problems with it at first. There's two sides to it. One, you are entering into it naturally. Are you going through it as you wake up in the morning and as you go asleep at night? Mm. Those are the biggies. But also, whenever you're sitting at the red light and your mother-in-law's on the phone, <laughs> right? You've got yeah, you, and you sit there and you start to like, and then Victoria's behind you going beep, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 right. Time to go. Get it? Yeah. By the way, Neville, yeah, let this be easy. Neville says, it says something about disregarding the evidence of the senses. You do it every time you're in the state of to sleep at the red light and Victoria's behind you. Actually, Victoria doesn't beep. She's nice. I'm the one going beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yep. Right? True. <laughs> right. I'm a busy guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> uh, Lee, he, he, Joe says Lee Griff for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so they were asking what country was Lee on. I thought she was Ghana, but there's been not no, Nigeria and a few places. Yeah, we don't know. But, she's a yeah. CIA agent. Yes. She's the most yes. lovely she's CIA coming agent. Back there, sort of now. That's right. Now, uh, someone asked. All right, this is great. What does prune the vine mean? Cool. Mm. So if you let the vine run wild, I wish you guys could see what this looked like five years ago, mm. right? Because we had these wild vines all over the it, place. Stifling, like, yeah, like literally, everything. you couldn't hear the traffic. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then we cut them all down, and Dom and I burned in the season where we shouldn't have, and yeah. probably should have Gates been arrested. But that's all right. <laughs> we had this incinerator you're not allowed to have. Yeah. Uh, it's not that we break the law every day, but mm. it was good fun. God, there's something about fire. Anyway, yeah. but when you prune the vine, right? Yeah. You, here's the thing: people all the time, they, they, they my imagination is out of control. I, I this thought that. Stop. Be still. Notice what you're beginning to give life to, and if you don't like it, prune it. Yeah. Notice what you're beginning to give life to and prune it. Mm. Notice Neville doesn't say, burn the whole fucking forest down. <laughs> right? yeah, just to be blunt, right? Now, here's the thing, ready? I am going to meditate and quiet my mind for an hour at a time. Let's call that burning the forest down. I see absolutely no point in that. By the way, been there, done that. But when you get that silence is not an activity, silence is what you are, you get that there, this is always totally silent. The ocean is always there, and the waves get to do what the waves do. And so if the waves are pushing around shit you don't want, you change things. Mm. Right? Really, really, really mm. simple. But if you approach it from, and here's the thing, so, you know, if meditation is a war against the mind, uh, you, know, you need to get wargamedance.com. Right? Because this is not about, I will quiet my mind for an hour a day so that my productivity is enhanced during all the other shit time of my life. Uh, no. Play with this stuff. You discover you are the silence. You are the ocean that gives rise to all the waves. And when you do that, and you notice this wave's pushing around trash that I don't like anymore, change it. 
that fast. But you're never going to be able to pull this off if you think silence is an activity or silence is a, an experience that you chase because I can smoke weed or drink scotch, then everything gets quiet. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anybody, anything else? <laughs> Ball. Uh, I don't think so. I, Heidi said, yeah, well, Ivy, when it's left, it'll just c c choke everything out. That is the right. Uh, but when it's pruned, it's lovely. That's and right. Yeah, we've got some ivy here that we really like that we keep in check. That's right. But there's one ivy that... That cake ivy yep. that is just over the top. Ridiculous. By the way, Victoria left the show earlier today. Let's talk about how real this is, right? So we're training the puppies mm. not to like randomly like go ape shit when someone walks past the edge of the fence with a dog, right? And obviously we could hear Emmett way in the distance going, going off. Ballistic. I didn't hear Bruce. I don't know if you heard him or not, but I didn't hear Bruce. No. But, but he, but, he which didn't. is good. So, so Bruce, he's catching on. We want it the, the little crazy one to catch on too right and, yeah realize he doesn't have to bark and so pruning all. the vine has us like literally in the imagination that's exactly what it is dog goes crazy settle him down dog goes crazy settle him down stop be still send him in another direction ball 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 yeah. got it and literally because we've imagined good puppies victoria's body goes let me go help them be good puppies her going over there doesn't make a difference at all. By the way, if you guys could see my body, am I looking hot or what? Yep, you lose some lights, babe. I, I am looking hot. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I've been going to the pool for seven, eight months now. Yep. Right? Yeah. It is not the pool's fault. Because yeah. I've been watching people. I watch people. I love watching people and looking at them. <laughs> right? And so I watch people and look at them. And here's one thing I've noticed. There are people that have been going to the pool as long as I have and they have really no structural change. <laughs> mm. They're imagining maintaining. Yeah. I'm imagining transformation. Now, back in May, I shared with Joe and Yasmin and Lee, Lee. and Gary and Victoria and the Maxwells, yes. my yep. lady at the pool who I've been watching transform because she was coming in with the uh, cane that has the strap on, getting to the pool, hobbling in and doing her things. And over the months, I've watched her, like, literally, I can tell she's got vision. I, I watch how she does it, right? And, and I watched her at the end of the ramp, imagining having moved up the ramp. And she walks up the ramp without a cane, without any hands on anything, and I can watch her at the end celebrate. Yes. Right? She imagined having done it, then she did it, right? Mm -hmm. She's imagining transformation. And, and it shows in her gait, it shows in her body, uh, meanwhile, some people are imagining I have to keep moving or else I'll... Right. Different. <laughs> but I'm looking hot. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think, James? Do I look hot or what? Smash the, <laughs> smash the love <laughs> button. Smash it. Yeah. Smash it. I see you out there. I know you're looking. <laughs> I do? Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't James, though. That was Heidi. <laughs> cool. All right. So... Yep. Is that it? No more question? I don't think. I think we got them all. All right. Anyone else got a question? All right. Remember, today is Superhero Tuesday, according to the Superhero Maxwells. Superhero Captain Tuesday. Underwear. Captain Underwear. Captain Underwear. He's actually got a cape. Oh, yeah. Angus. When, yep. And when, you, when you get to your 20s, you play Captain Commando, and then you have a cape as well. <laughs> In your undies. <laughs> uh, no, you're Captain Commando. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Love you guys. Oh. Yasmin's got to fly. That's right, because you're with Captain Co uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Underpants. Thank you, Camilla. Glad you made it. Okay, so okay, what we want you to do. do, Patty's already done it, which is ace. Oh, she's amazing. We want you to pull a Patty. And what that means is you want we want you to type in down there right now what I learned. What did sorry, what did you learn? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn about you and what was your best bit? By the way, you guys that share the show, thank you. Right, we really appreciate it. I know you share yeah. stupid shit too. <laughs> <laughs> So glad we're up there with So them. we're glad we're up there with that. <laughs> and you guys on YouTube, right? Feel free to do that. What you learn? What you learn about you? What was your best bit? Yeah. Right? Why yeah. not? Right? Because if you take a little time, manifesting mastery works for a couple reasons. One of them is every seven days we say, hey, what'd you do? Give us an update. Here's ours. Here's what we experienced. Here's what we did during the course. Right? Yeah. And when you take the time to do that, something happens. Meanwhile, back at the French. Back at the French. Did all that? Go to freenevel.com. That's right, over 1,000 free resources and goodies and podcasts. Yes. And little five minute podcasts, they're fun. 
join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com if you've already done that get some of those live call packages and yeah the we mentioned stuff in the section. show the yes method or that wasn't but the yes method the aha moments um war game dance, dance right yeah now. there's some Great. ace goodies there's some there. awesome stuff there guys yeah. seriously live play is good fun right uh and meanwhile at the other french go to if you've missed us live yeah if you're not watching the show now, now. but want to watch it later yeah or if we're to. not here and you're there yeah how you do this i don't know but go to feel it real fun.com that's right <laughs> cool that was a great show that was ace all right okay uh, do, do, do. we're all gonna right. go we're going <laughs> play with our pups we'll play with the puppies and then i got See, two calls going to the pool at 11. yeah will cube show up probably not at 11. yeah, yeah. Well, he probably will actually he's oh, been pretty faithful like that because he needs to take up, showers Joe. okay right. have a great 24 hours see you tomorrow see you tomorrow guys boom <laughs>